guys and welcome back to my world. Right, have I got a very cool video for you today. Me, uh, while I was building the kill room over here, I was having a conversation with Guy Perry 10 and uh, he mentioned something about XP and how we can use it and uh, I, yeah, we came up with the XP shop. So this is the ye old chainmail minimum 25 XP levels to enter. So basically you are able to actually buy physical items using your XP. So you'll see at the bottom here I have 25 XP. Okay, so I do have the minimum amount to enter. So if I go enter, it takes me into the shop and I then have the option to buy any one of these by clicking on the buttons. Okay, but I don't want to do that right now. If I take my XP off, so if I remove my XP, I now have zero XP over there. Um, you'll see I can no longer enter the shop. I can't get in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how it all works uh, with <laughs> Kai Perry dancing over here. So let me give him, first of all, take away his levels, XP. Uh, let's go take away 100,000 levels. Uh, Kai Perry 10. Okay, oh, I've given him. Oopsie, I should have actually taken away. So minus 200,000. There we go. I've taken away a lot of him. Okay, so now I'm going to give him 25 XP, 25 levels, Guy Perry 10. Okay, and go in, please. So now I'm also going to give myself XP 100 levels. Okay, so now you'll see that Basically what he does is he's going to decide what he ha what he wants. He's only got 25 levels, so he's going to buy the boots. That's all he can afford. Okay, so, right, buy. The moment he buys, whoops, you'll see from the bottom here, guy, uh, gave Guy Perry 10 some 305 chainmail boots. It took 25 levels away from him and then teleported him back to the spot because he now n now no longer has any money to spend on the shop. Okay, so uh, I'm now going to give him some more. So let's give him some more XP. So I'm just going to give him 200 and uh, let's make it 250. Okay, go wild. Go wild. Okay, <laughs> shopping spree. Okay, so now he goes in. He's not able to buy and shop as much as he wants. But you'll see something as well. I can't enter the shop. For as long as he's in the shop, I cannot enter. So it's a one person only. And that's actually a rather clever use of uh, a lockable repeater. There we go. He's now used up all of his uh, money and he's come out. And that's it. He has some... Oh, he's got a gift for me. Why, why thank you, sir. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So how does it work? So let's go and have a look at the mechanics. It's really very, very easy. So there we go. That is it. This is how big and how easy it is to make. So all we have here is basically the command block. So we have pistons. So when you press the button, piston comes down, activates first command block. So the first command block gives him a certain amount. But it first of all, it checks if he is within four blocks of the center of the shop just in case somebody's standing outside so he has to be in the shop and he needs to be minimal level 25 so we can't give him something if he doesn't have enough money for it so he needs to have at least 25 levels and then the 305 which is the chainmail boots and we're going to give him one okay the next now you'll see there's a bit of a delay so that they don't fire off at the same time so there's a bit of a delay then what we do is we then take XP minus 25 levels from whoever is in the shop and the radius of 4. Okay, and that will then remove his XP. It works exactly the same for all of these, but all of the rest will be 50 for, for the helmets, um, 100 for, for the chests. So that's basically how that works. Now how, do, how we determine if somebody's in the shop is that you'll see there was a lot of, a lot of pressure plates. All of the available blocks had pressure plates, and if anybody's on that pressure plate, uh, this will light up. So I'm going to give him some some uh, quick some XP. Um, 
can you go into the shop please okay so you'll see the moment he actually gets comes into the shop it will actually there we go immediately you'll see this lights up for as long as he's in the shop this will be lit up this particular this um, repeater will be locked and this repeater literally just allows you to go into the shop so this here says uh, if you one block away from that particular coordinate and you minimum level 25 go into the store okay and then this just locks it so that he so that he can't go into the store uh, what you'll also see happens is it fires off this um, the circuit here and what it does it just checks that if the person which one is it? it's over here no this is not the one it's this one over here it just checks if he's still if he if he doesn't if he's not level zero so it just checks for those coordinates four blocks if he's in the shop and if he is level zero it'll teleport him outside the shop and then this one does exactly the same if it's the level zero it'll actually whisper let me just go back it'll actually whisper to him that your XP has been used up uh, let me just say uh, thank you for shopping with us <laughs> okay I'll go show you now how that works all right cool guys that really is it um, exit shop please so the moment he exits oh, you'll see he bought something there there we go turns off and the next person that walks onto the shop is going to flag this and it's going to go off right so that really is the basics of it uh, i'm going to be doing a lot more with this uh, the shop but i'm going to be using it in slightly different ways as well which i will show you eventually so i'm just going to go into the shop and just show you again i do have an exit shop button so that if you've decided well you know i don't have enough for that but i do want to go thank you very much and I'm gone cool so uh, thank you very much Guy Perry for your help thank you guys for watching if you build a shop like this as well please do me a video response if it's cool I'll I'll, I'll approve it and it'll be part of the video so and uh, as always please rate comment and subscribe and you can always come check out my shop and my server over here so all of the people that's featured in in, in my videos are people who actually you know in my viewers so guys thanks a lot and uh, yeah, I will check you all later.